And this is on 14K at one over half home. What do you want?
What's up guys, it's Jacob Vile here for another day of video. Um, really appreciate y'all always watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this setup. Uh, 418s, the DC Audio Level 6s. Um, first thing I wanna say is they aren't fully broken in, so they just reconed them. And if somebody doesn't want, know what recone is, recone is basically where you see the cone at the front of the subwoofer, the basket, basically not the motor in the basket, but the cone, the portion that's actually moving in the subwoofer, that is the actual recone. That's what they replace with the coil and the, the um, cone that's connected to it that's hooked up with the suspension. That's the recone portion of the subwoofer that they did. So they're still breaking in, and this video was from Slamfest. So, <clears throat> the chairs at the vehicle, what's the reason for it? That was something that I was figured I'd bring up because I actually did it in my setup as well. Um, they have boat seats. Um, the only thing I can think of is two things. Maybe there's people that are trying to gain um, and normal stock seats actually aren't as good for SPL or it's not as loud. Plus, if you look at the floor in the system, you can see that they added some, uh, some form of either concrete or dynamat or resin or rhino lining on the floor prior to it. So they really did a good job with actually making sure the floor is sturdy. And that's a very important part of if you're ever doing a wall build is make sure that the stock cabin isn't stock, that you do something to make it more structured, even if it's just dynamat for a minimum. Um, but yeah, the boat seats were there probably also so that the subwoofers would be able to get more action. Um, they wouldn't have to worry about touching the stock seats that were in that van. Um, and the last thing I wanted to bring up was port added to the wood. Wood, well, basically he added wood to the port. So if you look at the video, you can see that there's wood inside the port. It wasn't originally there. You can tell because when you look at the front of the wall, it has a clean, nice purple finish like a purple rhino line at the front. And then if you look at the curve, it's curving in purple. So that means that it was originally wider. So the port was actually wider than it actually is, um, but they added wood in there to retune the box. So the reason I wanted to bring this topic up was a lot of people ask all the time, what kind of port adjustments can I do? How do I play lower? My subwoofer doesn't like my fr frequency or my tuning. I'm not playing low enough, stuff like that. So that's the reason I want to bring this up. Um, a lot of guys, they build big and they shrink to liking. So maybe your port may be a little bit too big or maybe it's tuned to 35 and you want it to be at 32. So you had to add a little bit of wood in that port in order for it to play a little lower. It doesn't look as pretty. It, at the end of the day, it's not as nice. Um, it's not professionally like complete, like you feel a little upset or mad because, hey, I didn't get to have it done the first time right. Well, that doesn't happen in the car deal world. You're always gonna have mistakes. It's not always gonna be right the first time and you're gonna have to do trials like adding wood to the port to make it louder. And that's what this system did with the 418s was they had two slices of wood, uh, three quarter inch birch, I think it was, on each side. So that's an inch and a half of um, basically the width of the port that was shrunk. So that's a big, big change that they could have done. It could have went down three or four frequencies just because of that change. It could have rose their peak as well or it could have made them louder. So that's the reason I wanted to bring that up. So thanks for always watching, guys. I got a daily shout out for the day. Um, today's shout out goes to Bass Cop. He's a well-known YouTuber. Uh, Bass Cop, he t commented, I like how you're doing a narrative at the end of your video such as this. Um, things in the video and explaining why people are doing things a certain way and I think it's very informative and may help insight new people to the hobby and it's a great idea to share as well as show my own build so I appreciate you watching Base Cop there's your shout out for the day um, everybody thanks for watching and being a subscriber I appreciate y'all always watching if you have any questions or comments just feel free to ask um, that's what he just mentioned is a head on the nail uh, I always like to do narratives and uh, explain what I see in the build that maybe people could learn from and answer questions in these commentaries as well as I think it's good to see because there's a lot of people in the YouTube world that are trying to learn cardio builds and systems and be being able to give them this feedback and show them the feedback from the systems that I show are good for them for their own system that they're trying to do whether it's 110 or 12, 415's walled or 215's fourth order, sixth order or just some small little trunk set. It doesn't matter. It's a good variety for you guys. So anyway, Jacob Vile out. So once again, thanks for comment. Team base cop, base cop. There's your um, shout out for the day. If y'all want a shout out, just comment and say, hey, give me a shout out with some narrative or feedback from the video. Later.